Raga, se vi dicessi che divido tutti i quadri, tutti i cuori, tutte le picche, tutti i fiori, non in ordine perché non ho voglia, ma solo per farvi capire il concetto. Qua sono tutti i cuori, qua sono tutti i quadri e qua, e qua sono tutti i fiori. Ok, non sono in ordine, ma se io vi dicessi che dopo questo mi scuglio, questo taglio, questo taglio e questa serie di tagli, Così. Il mazzo di carte torna ad essere completamente diviso tra quadri, fiori, cuori e picche. Sarebbe interessante, insomma, ecco. Però ho scoperto recentemente una persona che fa delle cose ancora più pazzesche. Premetto che io di Bari nella mia vita ne ho visti diversi. Beh, un classico esempio italiano è Gianfranco Preverino. Ho già fatto diversi video con lui, sono stato anche a casa sua. Ha una sezione nella mia scuola di magia dedicata alle tecniche dei Bari, quindi insomma lo conosco molto bene. Ho visto anche dal vivo Jason England, un altro baro pazzesco. Mi sono visto tutti quanti i DVD di Steve Fort, che è stato diciamo nella storia dei Bari, forse il più conosciuto e anche uno che ha guadagnato veramente tanti soldi barando. E aveva una manualità con le carte spaventosa, tant'è che si narra che, no, credo che sia proprio la storia vera, ehm, che questo Steve Fort prima barava nei casinò, rubava tantissimi soldi e poi insegnava agli agenti della polizia o per esempio agli hotel, come per esempio Hilton, ha lavorato per Hilton per tantissimi soldi e per diverso tempo, da molto giovane, insegnava a sgamare le persone che baravano. Quindi è passato dall'altra parte, se prima barava ora insegna a sgamare quando barava. Però sicuramente lui deve aver guadagnato veramente tantissimi soldi Ecco, ecco, al di là di questo Che è interessante la sua storia Andatevela a vedere eh, Tra l'altro, piccola curiosità Non so se lo sapete Ma ecco, lui aveva registrato 5 videocassette all'epoca eh, 4 delle quali dove faceva vedere tecniche de dei bari Sia con le carte che con dadi Alle slot machine Insomma, riusciva a barare in qualunque Insomma, riusciva a barare in quasi qualunque gioco Scambiava i dadi con dadi truccati Ecco, queste 4 videocassette Gli erano fatte pubblicare La quinta videocassetta non gliel'hanno mai fatta pubblicare perché era lui che usava quelle tecniche che prima ha insegnato realmente nel casino. Quindi si vedeva lui con la telecamera nascosta che barava al casino e ovviamente vinceva. Uh, e sono qui per dirvi che insomma il mondo dei bari mi affascina veramente veramente tanto. Io non sono molto abile come baro. E l'altro giorno scorrendo YouTube ho trovato un canale, secondo me, assurdo. E oggi lo andiamo a vedere assieme perché sono stragasato. Non lo conoscevo prima, questo canale si chiama Card... Magic by Jason ha un centinaio di migliaia di iscritti, fa delle robe raga allucinanti. Andiamo a vederle. All right, I'll give the cards a couple shuffles before we begin. Now, of course, some people are just going to ignore the fact that the deck was shuffled twice before we started, so don't forget that. Okay. See, gravity is in check. All right, good. Things are working there. I'll give the cards a casino style shuffle, which is of course two shuffles like this. I'll strip the cards. Of course, you can see that even during the strip, uh, the cards change positions. And then after you do the strip, you always give the cards one more shuffle followed by a one hand handed cut and when I do the one handed cut people think I'm palming things there's nothing in my palms there's the cut and then uh, people always say that I'm dealing off the bottom of the deck so in this particular case we'll leave the deck on the table uh, so that you can see there's no possible way that I could be bottom dealing here in this particular case now a lot of people have asked for this particular challenge so let's do it today I wanted to make sure all those security measures were in place I will place the burn card under the watch to interact with the watch to make sure that you can see it's not edited and look at that you got wow. a straight flush unfortunately beat by a royal flush kind wow. of like the troll comment on this page you think you got something but in the end you have absolutely nothing era diciamo una dimostrazione di poker Texas Hold'em con due carte e si è portato nonostante tutti quei miscugli tagli eccetera eccetera una scala reale allora uno gli ha scritto trick cards other than the top card each card is black on the left side and red on the right side ah pensava che le carte fossero tipo tagliate a metà e metà rossa e metà nera vediamo cosa succede twice the content since I have to shoot everything twice. Uh, in the last video, I just did a basic red-black shuffle and there was a bunch of comment section experts that I now have to take down. First of all, someone said it was a perfect shuffle. Clearly, it's not a perfect shuffle. This is the part of the video where I want you to use your eyes. You can see that it's not a perfect alternation. As a matter of fact, in the last video, I shuffled the cards this way. How is this a perfect shuffle? How is this fake in any way? You can see the cards changing positions. Again, very important, remember that. Use your eyes. I'll use the same shuffles from the last video, casino style like this. You can clearly see the shuffles are finished, they're genuine, and of course it doesn't make a difference because I'll have full control of the reds and blacks. And my personal favorite, someone said it was a trick deck, that's why I didn't show all the faces. Well, here's all of the faces, so where's your god now? Wow. Cioè, raga, ma avete visto? Ma che cacchio è? 
ma cos'è, ma cosa fa, sta male, pazzesco, pazzesco, non ho la minima idea, quattro assi da un mazzo mescolato. Down, I'd like to show you what the deck looks like as I'm dealing. As I'm dealing, what I'm looking for is an ace. And ah, anytime I deal. see an ace on the top of the deck, rather than deal it to my opponent, I'm just going to keep it on top of the deck and reserve it for my own. Ah, hand. okay. Now, with the cards face down, it'll just look like I'm dealing to all the players wow. normally. But you can see here how the aces are reserved on top and end up in my poker hand. Four aces from a shuffled deck. Bellissimo. Bellissimo, cioè questo è ovviamente un second deal, però l'ha fatto con le, con le carte di faccia, quindi è anche più facile. Come dice lui, quando vengono distribuite le carte, nel momento in cui vedi per esempio un asso, lo trattieni in cima, vedi così. Ah, in questo caso mi serve, quindi me lo do, però se io ne vedo altri, o in questo caso così, io faccio finta di distribuire e mi tengo l'asso in cima. Chiaro che lì lui ha fatto per esempio... Eh, era abbastanza preparato perché sicuramente ha utilizzato eh, uno stacking per portarsi gli assi un po' dove voleva lui prima in modo tale che potesse fare la dimostrazione per noi però effettivamente è così supponendo che io sappia che ho gli assi un po' distanti l'uno tra l'altro perché gli arrivavano proprio perfetti in mano mi sembrava un po' assurdo no, se io ho per esempio gli assi messi così vediamo se io inizio a distribuire, vedo un asso, io sono il quarto giocatore, me lo tengo, ok, 3, 4, vedo un asso in questo caso, perfetto, ok, ah, in questo caso, guarda, me li sono messi veramente perfetti, non, non serve neanche, ma non sono un maestro, <ride> ok, però quello che fa lui è veramente figo, mi serve l'asso, lo vedo, inizio a distribuire la seconda carta e poi me lo do. C'è tanta roba questo Se so che l'asso è terzo Io distribuisco una normale Una normale Un second deal E un asso a me Questo è buono Questo è veramente buono E lo fa da Dio Andiamo a vederne altri Che mi sta facendo volare I know that people get pretty excited When I teach things on this page I've taught quite a few things So on this uh, particular video I just want to teach you A cool way to turn a card face up uh, okay. So here we're going to give the cards a cut And you can see that one card Just magically turns over Pretty cool, right? Uh, now in this particular case uh, I turn the ten of hearts face up uh, You can turn any card face up I just chose the ten of hearts I mean I could have chose any ten But let's focus on the ten of hearts Wow uh, So there's no secret really to it All I'm doing is pushing that top card Over to the right a little bit Just before the cut When I place it on the table Gravity And the placement of the other packet will make that card flip face up. There you go. Now you know how to do one. Quindi la sposta leggermente a destra, tac, e poi lei si dovrebbe girare. Però forse deve tagliare leggermente di più perché, perché deve far da scalino, no? Tac. Tac. Okay. Of course you can't believe everything that you see on the internet and a lot of people have asked me to do one of those social media quanti mazzi di carte dietro type videos uh, with the content that I do. Uh, so let's do it. I just took a deck of cards and gave it a shuffle and of course on social media you'll just see me effortlessly find four of a kind. Now let's take a look at it what it looks like in reality. Of course you can see that the strips are indeed legitimate. Uh, you can see that the shuffle is legitimate from top to bottom. You can also see that the cut is fair. This is the one that gets a lot of people. Come si muove bene. The cut is indeed genuine. Genuine. And then, of course, finally, you can see that it's exactly the same clip you saw a second ago. Just a reminder, everything you see on this page is done at my live shows. All right, we're going to trial this again because somebody wants me to try this with the three of hearts. And last I checked, the three of hearts should be right there. Right. Now, um... Last time I spelled to the three of hearts. After losing it into the deck, I'm going to give the cards a couple shuffles, and we're simply going to spell to the three of hearts. Uh, I did it last time with a jack, I believe. But this time, we will add the suits into the mix. Uh, now, of course, whenever I do this stuff, people always think that I'm not cutting the cards. Clearly, you can see that's not the case. And people think that I'm not really shuffling. What is this? Right? Or that I'm looking at the cards. Right? Uh, but I will look away and see if I can cut to, to the three of hearts so that I spell it. T-H-R-E-E-O-F-H-E-A-R-T -E -E and that is the three of hearts. No, bad, Now I'm okay. sure somebody watching this is thinking, yeah, but can you do it with one of the other hearts? And the answer is yes, I really can. And do I need to make the video? I probably don't think so because I can find all of the hearts. No. I really can. You're going to have to trust me on this one. Ma raga, ma di cosa stiamo parlando? Ma allucinante! Ma come cacchio è possibile? Cioè, mi ha fulato totale, finché era il 3 di cuori, io ci posso anche credere. Cioè, mescolo, ok, mescolo così, è l'ultima volta che ho visto il... Facciamo il 3 di cuori anche noi, come ha detto lui, devo scorrere le carte, ok? Il 3 di cuori mi sembrava qua. Ah, di una, porca miseria, di una, ho sbagliato. Comunque, è fattibile. Andiamo avanti con qualcos'altro. Allora, 
prove that there isn't a single miss, cioè che non sbaglia mai. Ha due mazzi di carte, cuori quadri fiori picche in ordine. And of course about half of you, one million people thought that this had been faked in some way. So I'm going to do it again and give you the proof that you so desperately require. I'm going to take a red deck and shuffle it into a blue deck perfectly from top to bottom wow. without a single miss. Now in the last video, this right here, this shot, this was the proof that it was a perfect alternation from top to bottom. You can see that it's undeniable. But people thought that when I had spread the cards out on the table that I was hiding mistakes and things like that or only showing a percentage of the deck. So I'm going to show all of the cards right now from the top to the bottom. Every single card is a perfect alternation. Every red card from every wow. blue card from top to bottom without a single miss. Pazzesco. Cioè un faro shuffle gigantesco di due mazzi. Andiamo a vedere, voglio skill, is voglio. It, imagine having absolutely no expertise in the field of cheating at cards and yet coming into the comment section and trying to explain how these tricks work. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why these things trigger people so much. So many hateful comments. It's just so simple. You just don't know what I'm doing. Number one, people think that there's cards sticking out of the side of the deck, but you can see that that's not the case, right? So even though I showed the sides of the deck, people will still say there's cards sticking out the side. Uh, you have to absorb all of the video. That's important, all of it. Uh, even though there's no cards sticking out of the side of the wow. deck and the shuffles are legitimate, I can still find those aces. Another thing people say quite often is I'm looking at the cards, but you can clearly see I'm using a closed shuffle. Look at the positions of my thumbs. If you actually took a moment to shuffle cards that way, you'd see that there's nothing to see. My thumbs are blocking the indexes. Plus, you can clearly see I'm not lifting the cards high enough to peek them. That's four aces from a shuffled deck of cards. And Bravo, questo è fattibile. Questo è onestamente fattibile. Let's start out by giving the deck what's known as a casino wash. This is how they shuffle cards in Vegas uh, when they open up a brand new deck of cards that prevents all methods of cheating. Now on this page I beat it about 15-20 times already and one of my favorite things is the TikTok hater comments and people say that it's completely fake. So I'm going to do something in a moment and I'm just dying to find out what you guys are saying. First of all there's no aces on top or bottom. I'm going to give the cards a couple shuffles like this and I want you to pay attention to when I shuffle you'll see the top cards change and the bottom cards change as well. And that's not going to stop me from finding an ace. Now I'll shuffle oh, oh. again and you can see again that the top cards change the bottom cards change and that's not going to stop me from finding an ace this time you might be thinking well yeah not only do you shuffle the cards but you also have to cut the cards it's not going to stop me now for this last ace i've done this particular thing on this page a handful of times as well and people always say i'm palming the cards nothing in my right hand nothing in my left hand that last ace the ace of spades should be right about here Ma da, so basta i'm dying to read these comments i just absolutely love ignorance and confidence together sta malissimo Anytime I need to fool a magician, this is the trick that I do. Uh, not only will it fool everybody on the internet, I mean, obviously, but especially magicians. They just can't stand this one. But it's in my live show. You can hire me and request this trick. I will do it for you specifically. We have a card selected. In this case, happens to be the Seven of Clubs. We'll lose the Seven of Clubs back into the deck using a casino-style shuffle, which is always two shuffles, a strip like this, and another shuffle followed by a one-handed cut. If it's good enough for a casino, it's good enough for a TikTok video. We'll finish by, well, we don't need the card that just fell on the floor. I'm good enough. I can do this with 51 cards. We'll give the cards uh, what looks like a casino wash. Uh, really what I'm doing is just spreading all the cards out all over the table. Now, last time I did this, they said that the, I had a remote control poker chip and then people uh, argued that the poker chip landed on multiple cards. Well, there's no doubt this time that it landed on a single playing card. I want to show you that there are no remaining seven of clubs in the no. deck. A lot of people think that I palm in an extra seven or something like that. There's no other sevens in the deck because the seven of clubs is under that chip. Let me know what... Io non ho idea di come funzioni. Mi ha fulato. Mi piace da morire. Wow, ancora voglio. Ne voglio ancora, una droga. Not sure why this page gets so much hate. But anyway, uh, this salty little fellow thinks that I'm doing a voiceover. So this time we're going to write down pocket aces. I'll write it down so that way you know that that's what I'm going to get from this very deck. You can go through the cards and look to see where the aces are before I start. But just like in the last video, I'm going to do a casino wash. And right now what I'm doing is stacking pocket aces, believe it or not, stacking pocket aces to fall to a seven-handed game 
of Texas Hold'em. So you can watch this in slow motion if you need to. You can see the wash is fair just now. I just gave the cards a cut, which means all the top cards change, the bottom cards change, and I'll give the cards a standard casino shuffle. By now you know it. It's two shuffles, then you strip like this. Uh, some people say that I strip too much or not enough. It's up to the dealer, really, honestly. There's the last shuffle. Here is the final one-handed cut, and I'll deal fairly to see all the cards come off the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven handed. There's an ace. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's pocket aces from a shuffle deck of cards. Pazzesco. Pazzesco. Ultimo perché sennò sto video potrebbe durare all'infinito, cosa dite? A lot of people have asked, have I ever been on Penn Teller's Fool Us? Well, this particular trick has been submitted to them. Now, they didn't put it on the show, but I'd like to do it for you now, see if I can fool you with it. We are going to generate a random playing card using these dice and a shuffled deck of cards. First, we're going to see if we can find a suit. Watch this. We roll, find out what we have, an eight in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the suit we're dealing with is hearts. Roll again for the value. In this case, we happen to have a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, so the value is king. That means the king of hearts is the random playing card that we generated. Roll one more time for a position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Now we know that can't be loaded dice because I got three different numbers each time I did it. Now the interesting part here is the king of hearts is always going to be at that seventh position. I know it full pen and teller. Did it fool you? Boh, vabbè raga, direi che abbiamo visto abbastanza per oggi, cioè, cioè è pazzesco veramente, complimenti, mi sono divertito veramente un sacco a vedere questi video, spero di avervi fatto vedere una persona che non conoscevate, un contenuto nuovo, una cosa particolare, che ha a che vedere ovviamente col mondo della magia, cioè vedere queste persone mi fa da un lato incazzare perché vorrei assolutamente arrivare a quel livello lì di manualità, perché è una manualità devastante, non c'è niente da dire, cioè si è allenato veramente veramente tanto e dall'altro lato mi fa spronare ad allenarmi e provare a fare quegli effetti lì quindi io credo che eh, prossimamente mi metterò a cercare di capire come funziona quello della della poker chip che gira perché lo voglio assolutamente fare bellissimo raga che dire spero che questo video vi sia piaciuto io vi mando un mega bacio e un abbraccio e noi ci vediamo al prossimo ciao